In this lesson for Photoshop Elements 9, we'll have some fun with polka dots. I'll show you how to create a pattern to put polka dots in your images, how to color the polka dots, how to fill them with gradients, and also add texture, like the image that we see in front of us now. So to begin, let's create a small file that we will use to create a polka dot pattern. From the File menu, choose New Blank File, then create a file that is 100 pixels wide, 100 pixels high, resolution of 72, color mode RGB, and transparent background, and click OK. Let's zoom in on this so that we can see it larger. Using the Zoom tool, we'll click to enlarge it. And if you do not see the rulers, in your image. From the View menu, select Rulers. We're going to use the rulers to set some guidelines for us when we create our pattern. Clicking on the top ruler with the left mouse button, click and drag a guideline over the image down 50 pixels. You can look at the ruler on the left to see where 50 is. Again, choosing the left ruler, click and drag a guideline over to the exact center of the image 50 pixels in. And notice that our image is now divided into four squares with an intersection in the middle that is visible. Let's now create a dot right in the center of the image. Click to choose black as your default foreground color. Select the brush tool. Choose a hard round brush and set the size to about 40 pixels. Make sure the opacity is at 100%. Now position the crosshairs of the brush at the exact center of the image and click once to create one dot. We will use this one dot to create a repeating pattern of diagonal lines of dots in our image. Now we're going to use the offset filter to create our pattern. From the Filter menu, choose Other, then choose Offset. Set the horizontal offset to 50 pixels right and the vertical offset to 50 pixels down. Notice that our original image was 100 pixels by 100 pixels. By setting it to just half the width and the height for your horizontal and vertical dimensions, you split that dot apart and placed one quarter of it at each corner of the image. Make sure in undefined areas that you have selected wrap around and then click OK. Back in the image, let's now click again once in the center of the image to put another dot in the exact center. Let's save this as a uh, pattern. From the Edit menu, choose Define Pattern and we will call this polka dots. Click OK. Now that we have our polka dot pattern, we can put this away for a minute. Let's open a new file, a new blank file with a white background, and we'll use a size of 720 by 480, and make sure that the background is white this time, and click OK. Let's fill this image with our polka dots. In the Layers panel, click to add a new layer above the current layer. The new layer is transparent, and when we add our polka dots, there will be transparency in that as well. On the toolbox, choose the Paint Bucket tool. Up on the Options bar, click Pattern, and then click to choose the pattern that you want. Notice we now have a polka dot pattern in our list of choices. Before we even choose this, it's important that you save it for future use. So click on the two double arrows at the top of the pattern picker and choose Save Patterns. And we will call this Polka Dots. Now if you ever need to use it again, you will be able to load it into your patterns. 
So choose the polka dot pattern, close the pattern picker, and then click to fill your image with the polka dots. What if you want your polka dots to be different color? We will do this by using a solid color adjustment layer. In the Layers panel, click on the Create a New Filler Adjustment Layer icon and choose Solid Color. Let's change the color to a deep blue and click OK. Notice that our whole layer is now this deep blue color, but to restrict the color to just the polka dots, we will create a clipping mask with the layer below. You can press Ctrl plus G or from the layer menu choose Create Clipping Mask. And now all of our polka dots are blue. If you want to change that color, you can go back to the color picker and choose a different color. Let's choose a light green and click OK. A fun thing to do with the polka dots is to color them with a gradient. For now, let's just hide that layer. We'll create a new adjustment layer and this time choose Gradient. In the Gradient Fill box, click to choose a different gradient and I'm using the gradients that are listed as spectrums. The gradient that you select should be a gradient that goes from one solid color to another but not to transparent or to white. And then click OK and again, let's clip this layer to the polka dot layer so that the colors will show through the polka dots. So I'm pressing Ctrl plus G to clip our gradient layer to the polka dot layer. And notice how we have this beautiful gradient effect in our polka dots. Let's add some texture to the polka dots as well. Select the polka dot layer in the Layers panel and then click to add a layer mask to the polka dot layer. We are going to fill the layer mask with a pattern that will show through on our dots. Use the paint bucket tool again. Up in the options bar, select pattern and then let's choose a different pattern. Let's see, how about canvas for our pattern? We'll select canvas close the pattern picker and then click once with the paint bucket tool to fill the layer mask with the pattern. And notice now our dots are rainbow colored with a nice canvas pattern to them. You can experiment with many different patterns and colors and combinations of paint brushes and patterns on your layer mask for different effects with your polka dots. If you want polka dots with different size and spacing, you need to create different patterns. For instance, if you wanted smaller polka dots that were spaced closer together, you might create a pattern that was 50 pixels by 50 pixels rather than 100 by 100. So enjoy playing with polka dots and have fun with your creations.